Hello and scale guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are going to be doing something, I wouldn't say a little different. We're going to be going in with the pretty sweaty loadout and everything. Basically, I was playing PvP, boys, and story time, by the way. I was getting my ass legit served to me on a freaking plate. But I did get royally destroyed, and it's because a dude was using this freaking pair. He's using the Antius Ward with, of course, the Chaperone. Now, I don't know why, but the Chaperone is freaking still nuts. And that's what confuses me, is because this gun is so good, and no one's really using it. I know the Immortal is there and it takes the slot and everything but other than that chaperone is still an absolute freaking god okay it's the freaking goat boys i know it got nerfed and everything but when you do pair it with this antius wards it becomes a different demon because you basically get so much free time while you're sliding just line up a free headshot and once you get the headshot and the roadborn gone it's freaking insane but as i said i got absolutely destroyed by this so i want to showcase it in pvp right now and showcase the sweatiness that it can bring so without further ado let's go on some pvp with the antius and freaking chaperone pair Alrighty, so we're gonna do a quick one of course on the cauldron and this is what it's gonna be like and there's a double freaking antius. oh my god it's so stupid but that's the whole point of this is that you basically get a lot of freaking time to freaking aim for their head and everything and honestly it can absolutely annoy that and once you get this roadboard gone i swear to God, it has so much range. Please don't hit me, little ball. Oh, it didn't hit me. Man. Yo, why? Why am I? I'm getting hit by. Why am I getting hit by all the smokes? Oh my God, buddy, get your ass over here! I gotta freaking wait. What? Where? What? This Titan's freaking so elusive. What the hell? Yo, buddy. Uh, uh you behind me, bro? Uh, bro, there is. <laughs> oh, the Ida Storm, thank God. But yeah, the freaking reflective vents, of course, with the Antis, and then when you have the freaking the chaperone going, it just means that you can get some shots going in. You, oh my God, freaking, I, I said, <laughs> oh, chaperone is just bay. When you hit a dome, it actually is so satisfying. But after the chaperone obviously got nerfed and everything, people were like, oh, it doesn't have the range anymore. It's not as good. But I'm telling you, once you have the Antis on, you can close that gap so freaking well. And oh my God, how did I get that? Oh. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> and obviously, with a knockout Titan and everything as well, you get so much for getting them half HP. So even if you do hit a body shot, you're hitting them to half HP guaranteed. It's 150 at like obviously certain ranges, whatever. So it just means that you can do some absolute freaking work like this. And oh, oh, he's had a bullets. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> Oh, there's the range. So obviously, if I slide in, I do a little bit more damage and everything. But that's what I mean by the effect of answer this. They're so good for keeping you alive for a couple of seconds. Now I'm dead. Yeah, I didn't know we actually stepped back. But the anti swords, they're just like really, really good for closing the gap. That's the main way of looking at it. Now I know people are going to hit me. You're so broken every time. I do think that they're super, super strong. And oh my God. Okay, buddy. You're just going to try to take the heavy in front of me. Oh my God. Yeah, you got absolutely dumped. As I said, Roborns is freaking insane. But yeah, Antius Wars, I will say that they're very strong right now. I, I wouldn't care if they got nerfed because, yeah, they are ridiculous. How much stuff they can repel and everything is insane. Um, buddy. Wait, what the? Oh, this guy with my ass. Nice. <laughs> well, yeah, the Antius Wars right now are insane. So pair them with anything and they're going to be good. But I'm just kind of more looking at the chaperone because I do think that when you kind of get your shots going with it, it's insane. Like, look at that range for a shotgun. I know I was just on the edge of it, but he just got absolutely dropped. And there's Roadborn, so I'm obviously going to one-tap that. But, like, look at the range. Oh, he just got absolutely dropped. And there's the knockout and everything going well for me, too. And we're going to go with this guy. Oh, I missed. No, I double missed. God damn it. One thing I will say that is kind of sad, though, is that when a weapon gets nerfed and everything, it is really sad that people just legit never use it ever again. Oh, he's one on shot. That's why I went for that. Okay, you're not hitting that range, probably. But when people start seeing that weapons get nerfed and everything, it legit just falls out of freaking use completely. But I'm telling you, the chaperone is still an absolute freaking king. And we'll get this guy uh, through the door. Nope. <laughs> the door takes so long to open. But it's still an absolute freaking king. It's so sad when weapons get nerfed like this that they don't come out. Nobody go into the crosshair. Go into the crosshair. I just have to keep stepping back. But yeah, I know that weapons and everything can't get nerfed and everything. And oh, that's what you win. But I know weapons can't get nerfed and maybe not as strong anymore. But I do think that the chaperone itself. Ooh, an exotic. I think it's still dope. I do think that people should definitely give it a shot. Especially with the anti swords. It just gives you that clean ass chance to just absolutely dump someone. But I will say overall chaperone. Do not sleep on this weapon, guys. Alrighty, so we're going to do another game because that rumble game was quicker than me in bed. And I also want to get more on a kind of, I don't know, targets to hit when I have the Roadborn going. So we're doing some zone control. This is the default skin, by the way. And that's a sniper. I was looking at the skin. But this is the default skin. I don't know how I didn't even hit him. Yo, what is going on, boys? Oh my god, stop tying me up. And, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, we against that freaking three stack. Well, yeah, the chaperone itself, I do think people are definitely sleeping on this weapon. I think it can still go in really well. People might like you all and everything. There is other slug shotguns, but I'm telling you, when it comes down to this absolute dome, people, it can be super, super nice. And I'm amazed I didn't freaking whiff there. I got a heal off and I'm able to dome the next dude, but I still think the chaperone 
It's an absolute sniper. It's still an absolute freaking goat. If you want something that's really consistent, just one tapping people. It's definitely one to look at. And as I said, that anti sword, it just comes in real clutch in terms of. And uh, yo, buddy. <laughs> I just freaking warped straight through his body. But with the anti swords, it just gives you that extra little bit of, I'd say, like, I don't know. Oh, that's a lot of people, boys. We out of there. But it gives you that extra little, like, wiggle room just to freaking, like, actually swing on somebody. Because I think a lot of the times now, especially with immortal spams and everything, when you're trying to run at someone with a chaperone, you just get absolutely one tapped and yo. Oh God, if my freaking melees could hit, that would be great. I had it on his head, God damn it! But yeah, a lot of the times when you're using like slug shotguns and everything, you'll get destroyed before you can get close. But this just gives you that little bit of wiggle room, as I said, to the stone. I'm like this, and like do that. You can absolutely destroy people. <laughs> it's so freaking sweet. Oh, uh, another dude here though, yo, buddy. Ah, uh, wait, that was a body shot. God damn, how did I miss that? I have no idea where this guy is. Oh, did I hit it? I don't think I did. I went for the freaking shot. I went for the freaking flick. And he's dead. This dude here. Oh, I'm warping through so many freaking people. Boys, he's still alive. Oh, headshot. I'll take that. Oh, my God. Wait, I will say that once you kind of get the roadboard and everything going with this, that is definitely when you're going to see. You'll get this guy. Anyone else on B? Uh, no. But once you get the roadboard going, that's when you're going to see the true potential, obviously, of this going. I would love if there was a catalyst that like, maybe give you roadboard and body shot kills or whatever. That would be really, really cool because the amount of times you hit a body shot or maybe give you a roadboard on melee kills, that would be freaking nuts. Imagine getting a body shot to a melee and then it's freaking getting the, oh, the freaking thing going because you can do, this. oh, I headshot him. What the hell? <laughs> but imagine that being like a combo. It would be freaking insane and that's a freaking no time. Uh, gonna be dude here though. Dumb real quick. Ah, uh, yo, young man. Jump up. There we go. <laughs> it was so easy to say that. Oh, there's the body shot in this. As I said. Once you get it going, it can honestly go in there. There is multiples there, boys. Oh, they all got hit. Uh, oh, no. I don't know. Oh, my God, he knew. <laughs> Where did my wall go? What? He just whoop? Did he go whoop whoop with a shotgun? I have no idea. But yeah, once you kind of get it going, the triple kills and everything, they're so good. I will say definitely that compared to like it used to be in... Uh, I missed that shot. Yo. <laughs> it was worth the try, boys. It was in my face. I've got to go for it. Well, I will say that the ammo economy definitely did change this a lot more. I think that if it was a slug shotgun that still got a bunch of bullets back to it, I think it would be a lot more usable. But for a shotgun that only headshots or only gets kills and headshots, and boys, that is how you counter one of those freaking walls. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. Anthony's wards, by the way, if you slide through a freaking... Oh, I wanted to get through here. But if you slide through a, a Titan's wall, you don't take the damage. So you can just surprise with a shotgun. But yeah, the um, the ammo economy definitely changed because you gotta hit a dome ski on this. So if you hit a body shot, you have to notice the body shot. It's wasting all your ammo. You only get one back per thing. So I definitely will understand why people might not use this over basic ass shotguns like Velvet Desire or whatever. We are somehow winning this. I have no idea. I've been just getting absolutely stomped for like a lot of the game. But the enemy down. <laughs> how does the Velvet just actually won't bump me from there, actually, though? I, I wanna know. Because I had to dome the guy and I barely even freaking killed him with that shotgun. But as I said, like, sometimes you just hit some absolute nasty shots with this. It honestly feels like an absolute sniper. So, yeah, I will definitely say, especially for people who are used to slug shotguns. Give this a try with the Antius. You won't regret it because it will go in. And I whiffed, I whiffed, I whiffed. And oh my god, my melee whiffed. That's my freaking way out. I needed the knockout heal. All right, we need to get a kill streak to finish this off. And there's the one shot. And you know what? We're going to do this again, boys. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we get the melee kill anyway. But yeah, we need, to get, we need to win this, boys. So there's one or two more kills. Get one more. And I whiffed. And I'm dead. <laughs> I think that's the W scared anyway, though. But I will say shot prone. It's still really, really dope, obviously. And I said, with the anti wars, it goes in a lot more. Don't have to go around with a primarity. And wait, did they nerf my Titan? What the hell is this? Hey, yo, Bungie, what? Yo, is this the anti wars nerf? You just can't run? What is this? My, I feel like my legs are broken. I can't run. What? Yo, Bungie, what sort of bug is that? I have no idea how that just happened. I can run I can run normally now, okay? My guy legit just lost the use of his knees basically to run, but there's a dove ski and I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what just happened to me? Oh, but that is the win, boys. I ah, never in doubt, guys. Never in doubt. I'm using the freaking chaperone. But I will definitely say that, yeah, Shapri is still the goat, boys. It's still the freaking goat. And how do I not punch the wall there? What? what is going on right now? Well, that's it from me. And of course, the chaperone with the anti swords. As I said, this going, it, it, it's just freaking still nuts. As I said, I used to love this even back in the day when people weren't using it. Then it got become meta. And then everyone started using it. And then it got nerfed. But even nerf this thing is still an absolute freaking dream. Once that Roborn gets going, oh my god, is this an absolute freaking animal to go in with? I'm hoping that when they bring out a catalyst for this, they give it something juicy because I think the chaperone needs to be used a lot more. I think it's especially as I said with those anti swords right now. 
it's freaking insane what you can do. You can literally just, just destroy people so fast. I know people were like, you should any shock owner. You could use a duality shock owner as well. Oh, yeah, I understand duality is there as well. But this one is just when you get the Redborn going the slug, it's just freaking naughty. And I do like slug shotguns. I honestly do think all shotguns should probably slug shotguns because they actually take some skill to use. Hey yo. But I will say overall, this pair, it's definitely sweaty. As I said, I got legit destroyed by a guy using it. And I was like, maybe I should try it out. Not to try it out, I'm telling you. This is a really dope ass build. Is it gonna be the meta meta right now? Antius by itself already is anyway so you're probably gonna do well regardless with that if you want to put on smg but we'll say using the chaperone you'll rack up some freaking kills and clips honestly you can go in but regardless if you like the video just like and really support content subscribe and fantastic day and hopefully i'll see you in the next collective in the next one